What's up YouTube, it's Mark again, and welcome back to another episode of Swamp and Stomp. On this week's episode, we're gonna be addressing some of the questions that we get from a lot of our subscribers. A lot of times people are asking us about the gear that we like to use, and in this particular instance, people have been asking us about what we use to hang up our gear when we're saddle hunting. So today I'm gonna to talk about a few different gear straps um, that we've all used or that we have available to us um, and we're gonna talk about some of the benefits that each of them have and then I'm gonna show you guys a DIY gear strap that I like to use that I personally think is way better and lighter and simpler and cheaper than all the other ones uh, but that's just my opinion we'll let you guys make up your own mind so let's get right into it That is a big deer. And he didn't go 30 yards. Oh my God. <laughs> that was the first buck I've ever shot. Woo, what a rush. Money, that deer is dead. Tagged out, baby. You shot one? Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. I saw him go what? down. Actually, before I get started, I'm gonna go inside and get changed real quick and uh, get a haircut and maybe just like a whole, uh, you know, makeover, whatever. I'll be right back. Before I start, somebody always seems to ask us, what kind of gear are we using? So, this saddle that I've got on right here, this is the Wood Deluxe Hunting Saddle. As you can see, it uses our uh, SNS High Pine Camo, so it's gonna match the camo that you can buy on our store at www.com swamp and stomp llc.com you can get these on the same website or at woodhuntingsaddles.com and then down here on my platform this is my brand new just got it super excited about it this is the uh out on a limb ridge runner 2.0 it's really sweet because the old ridge runner runner uh had a very different stem system this one uh sort of cams over just like uh the majority of platforms on the market um so you get this really big platform you get these really big sides right here to push off on when you're going around the tree and you have a step up here uh, in case you want to put your foot up while you're leaning in or whatever you want to do um, and this standoff actually folds up so the whole thing goes totally flat super sweet you know i just wasn't really feeling that other outfit so i'm back in this one all right so let's get right into it i want to show you guys this first uh gear strap and this thing's really cool this thing right here is called the goat g-h-o-a-t um, and this is made by bk outdoors um, and this is a really cool item because it doubles as your suspenders and when you get to the tree you could turn it into a gear strap so as you can see i'm rocking suspenders i always do on my saddle setup let me just show you let me aim down a little bit as you see i've got a lot going on on my saddle outfit i have uh two dump pouches and i carry a ton of stuff in there if you pick this thing up, if I take it off and you just pick it up, it probably weighs like 10 pounds. I've got my camera arm base in there. I've got a, a tether. I've got my back band. In this one, I have my, uh, my extra tether. I have a, just a bunch of stuff. It doesn't even matter, but there's a lot of stuff in there. And so if I don't wear suspenders, there's constantly this weight pulling down on my belt. And just the way that my hips and my butt are shaped, I don't know belts don't really like to stay up high they kind of ride down like you can see it's already starting to ride down my butt so uh, i kind of need those suspenders to keep things up uh, especially with all that weight so the suspenders i'm rocking right now are just uh, some diy really simple ones that i made um, and one of the nice things about this saddle too this is the one that we designed together with um, with wood hunting saddles um, I requested that they put in these suspender loops. So there's a, two suspender loops, one on each side on the front, and then there's one in the center on the back so that you can set up uh, suspenders on it. And this goat will fit perfectly with it. So the way this works is you've got this strap that sticks out that's like a little longer. It's like a nine inch piece of webbing. There's G hook on the end of that. Then there's a G hook on one end, and then there's another G hook 
on another end. So the way you would hook it up is you would take the G hook that has the longer strap and that's gonna go on the back side of your saddle. And then you would take the other side, this side, and pull through so that you have enough if you're a heavy guy like I am. And you're gonna go over your shoulder and use the G hook up there to hook on to the right side in the front. And then you're gonna take the other side here and there's a G hook there which can be, you can change the length of this thing using that G hook. So you're gonna take that one, you're gonna go over your shoulder and hook that up on this side just like that so now i have fully functional suspenders to keep up my um my saddle <clears throat> and as you can see there's all kinds of like little gizmos and gadgets already attached on here and that's just because danny's actually been using this particular gear strap on his setup um, and he actually doesn't he doesn't use them as suspenders he just uses the gear strap um, <clears throat> but you could you know you could easily take these off like this is the uh the bow hanger and you can take it off very easily. Of course I say easily, there we go. And you can just stick that in your pouch and then when you get up to your tree, you can put it on there by just sticking it through, twisting and pulling back down and you've got yourself a bow hanger. Uh, but for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm just kind of leaving them on there. So anyway, let's imagine I just got to my tree. I climb up in the tree, um, you know, I've got my tether i'm hanging on now and it's time to uh, take off my suspenders because at this point i'm hanging from the tree so all my weight is in the saddle and the suspenders aren't doing anything anymore anyway so you would just take it off like so and you're going to just go around the tree with it we want to have the bow hanger is going to be on our left side so we're going to take this longer part of it, go around the tree, just like this. And you're going to take that, you take the G hook, and there's a little loop on the end here. You're going to go right through that loop with the G hook, like so. And then you're just going to tighten it up. And you can position everything where you want it. So I want to have this on this side, because that's where I'm going to hang my backpack from. Um, so you can move all this other stuff like wherever you want to hang stuff it doesn't really matter whatever your setup is but just tighten that down like so give it a tug to get it nice and tight and so what you got now is you've got all these hooks obviously that you can hang stuff from but you've also got this hook right here this is the one that was on the back side uh, as a suspender and it's it's a heavy duty G hook and you can hang your backpack from it so your backpack you know if you're sitting right here your backpacks hanging sort of a little bit on the back side of the tree out of your way it's also hanging low so that it's not in your way it's like not up in your face and there's a bunch of different hooks you can put on there where you can use these simple little molly hooks uh, which you're actually going to see on another gear hanger that I'm going to show you in a minute um, and you know you can get these bigger hooks this is one of the hooks that uh, BK Outdoors provides there's this other G hook right here that you can hang stuff on you got your bow hanger on this side and there's just all kinds of options there's all kinds of doodads you can attach to this thing so um, it's super functional and if you're one of those people that's like really concerned about weight you know this is a great option because it has dual functionality so <clears throat> Again, if you guys want to get it, it's BK Outdoors, and it's called The Goat. I'm really not feeling these clothes anymore, or this haircut. I'm going to go back inside and get changed, and I'll be right back to show you the rest of these, these gear hangers. This is a gear hanger that is made by Big Whitetail Dreams. So this is a hanger that Danny used for quite a while. As you can see, these hooks are pretty beefy. They are steel. They are super tough. Um, this is probably the heaviest option that we've got, uh, but it's a really simple design and it works really well. Um, it, you could just go right around the tree um, and it just has a simple cam buckle design. You just put that in there like that. Give it a couple tugs and 
you've got a gear hanger. Now one of these hooks, this one right here, sticks out further than the rest. Let me pull this one over so you can see that. So these ones right here, you can see these are real short. They're only like maybe an inch and a quarter across the bottom. This one sticks out way far. So if you're rocking this one, this guy right here is your bow hanger. So you want to put that on whichever side you want your bow to be. In my case, I like my bow to be over here on the left side. So you'd want to slide it around so it's on the left side of the tree and you can hang your bow right there. Give it a couple little tugs and that is locked in place. You can hang your backpack right here, bow right here, other stuff on the other hooks. So there's four hooks in total. And again, that's big whitetail dreams. So if you like that, if you like it simple, you like it heavy, go check them out. In fact, uh, the owner will put videos out where he's hanging all kinds of ridiculous things from these. He puts like cinder blocks and all kinds of stuff on there. So these are really strong. If that's important to you, that's probably the strongest option you're going to find. So next up, this gear hanger here is made by uh, Out on a Limb. Great company. Uh, they manufacture all kinds of innovative stuff for saddle hunting. And this is a really simple design. It's basically just a inch long webbing strap. It's got a simple plastic click bucket buckle. So as long as you put your fingers right there when it closes, you're not gonna have a really loud click. So you can go in like that. There you go, no click. If you don't do that, it's loud. So you don't wanna do that in the woods. Um, but these are really cool because these hooks right here, these are your typical uh, molly, D hooks, you can put them anywhere on the, the strap and you can slide them to whatever position you want. There's five hooks in total. You can buy more of these hooks on Amazon if you wanted to add more hooks. Um, so this is a really simple design. I think you can also just buy these hooks from their website. The cool thing about these is they have a little lock system. You push this button and it opens up and it becomes a little hook. So you can just leave them open. You can hang stuff on them um, and they'll work great. Um, or if you want to like lock something in like for instance, let's say you have your rangefinder on like one of those little uh, Pull out lanyards, um, you know the little bungee ones with, like roll back up You could hook it on here close it up and then you could just pull it away from the tree Use it let go and it'll pull right back to it and that way it's locked and you're not gonna lose it Or if you got something valuable that you want to hook up and you don't want to lose it You can put it on there and close it up uh, but most of the time I'd probably open them up open them up and just leave them hanging like that and they'll do the trick um, the nice thing about these two uh, they are the they're small enough like the stem itself is small enough that you hang the cam of your bow on these so they don't really stick out very far um, so if you do do that like if you hang your cam on there your bow is probably going to be kind of leaning off the tree a little bit because it's going to be touching the tree down here it's not really that big of a deal, um, but uh, just something to think about. Um, but you can definitely hang a bow from these. They are uh, plastic, so they don't take a ton of weight, but your bow should be able to hold from it, no problem. Um, in fact, I actually usually run a couple of these on the back of my saddle, like right on the back side, and I'll actually hang my platform from one of these. I just tie a little paracord loop on the platform, and I clip it to one, and I close it up, on my back so when i'm climbing up the tree it's right there when i get up there i just push the button and uh i can grab my platform and attach it to the tree so they are actually really strong especially when you close them up uh, but i've actually done it on numerous occasions where i'll put my platform on it open and i forget to close it and i get to the bottom of the tree and these will like if you pull hard enough on them they'll like fold further open and even when that happens this still has an upward angle so stuff doesn't just like fall out when it opens up, but it will definitely give you a bit of a pucker moment when that happens. So just something to keep in mind, don't hang too much weight on these. Now, if you wanted to use this and you wanted to get something a little more secure for your bow, there's a number of different bow hangers that you can get that'll fit easily on you know a one inch strap uh, off the top of my head. Uh, I know Tubor makes one, anyway. So let me throw this on the tree just so you can kind of see how this one works. Real simple, you just reach right around the tree, click it, pull tight, and you've got yourself a fully functional bow hanger that quickly. You can, like I said, you can open these up, hang your stuff on them, or you can close them up whichever way you want to do it. It's a really simple system. It's a great option for sure. And one thing I really like about it is because they're plastic, you're not going to have that metal on metal clanging 
Uh, that is possible with the big whitetail dreams, but there is a rubber, a rubberized coating on the hook part itself. Um, but that cam buckle is still metal, and so is the rest of the hook. So just something to keep in mind if you're worried about that metal clanging noise, that might not be the best option. This here is a gear hanger made by Latitude. And as you can see, it is brand new. Um, so we're gonna check it out together. So this is a really simple design again. Um, so the way that this one works is actually there are, um, there are these like rubber tubes with some molly loops that are attached just like that. Um, and you can slide these, these tubes in whichever direction you want. You can move them. And uh, what you would do is use some, uh, some little s beaner clips to attach to these loops. Um, the attachment system for this is uh, actually kind of sweet. Um, so basically you've got a, um, on one end here, there's just a thin loop right there. And on this side, you've got one of these buckles. So when you go around the tree, you're just gonna slide that right through there and really lightweight, super sweet option. And down on this side, there's actually something interesting. Oh, I see what it is. So you would basically cinch this tight. And then down here, you have another strap uh, or the tag end with another loop on the end here. And you can pull that through to hang your backpack on it. So you can have your backpack hanging significantly lower than the rest of it. So let me show you what that looks like. So you can see, I couldn't even see the thing and it was very easy to hook up. So again, give it a couple tugs and it's tight. Suddenly I'm hanging in my saddle and I've got a backpack on. So let me show you how this works. So basically these little loops, you would use these little s banners I usually carry a bunch of these in my dump pouches. So when I want to hang up gear, you just simply clip one on there um, and then you can clip your gear right on there. Now, some people will also remove these little retention clips right off of it. So it's just a hook. So you don't have to like, you know, undo the clip and pull your stuff out. It'll just be a simple hook and you can grab stuff off. But personally, I don't mind the retention clip being there. I just leave them there because it's a little safer. Now, I wanted to show you that backpack thing. So basically, when you when you get into the woods, you attach your, uh, your strap right here and you can hang your backpack. Now, I, this is um, the new JX3 Outdoors. Um, hunting pack system there's actually more to it than this there's a whole front part that includes some bino harness uh, a bino harness you can put your phone in there it's got little pockets for all kinds of stuff um, and uh, and then it actually has hand warmers as well so if you go and hunt hunt somewhere cold you got a little hand warmer hanging right there now in Florida I like to keep it simple so we actually bought these uh, little backpack straps off Amazon for 11 bucks and attach those on there so it becomes a little backpack and so it actually works really nice as you can see it's real small and Danny actually had a video where he goes into the details of like all the functions that this backpack has um, you know it's it's really small it's really lightweight but you can extend all the straps on it and and make it function like a bigger backpack um, it's pretty sweet so go check it out and if you want to get one you can actually use our uh, discount code uh, which I believe is SNS 22. It's down in the description, though, so go check it out. Anyway, so um, I always carry a, a carabiner on the carry loop of my backpack. I just always have it there. I never take it off. Uh, you can always hang stuff on it. It's pretty useful. So this is what I'll use to hang up my backpack. So in this case, you know, this little strap's hanging here. Put your backpack on it and your backpack can hang right there. Now, if you want your backpack out of the way, for instance, if you're like, okay, I want my backpack to be like almost down below me so that let's say you wanna make a maneuver like this and shoot this way, your backpack's not in the way. So you keep it nice and low. So that's actually a pretty cool function. I, I do kind of like that um, about this. And if you wanna get something out of your backpack, you just grab a hold of that tag end strap and just lift it right back up do whatever you need to do in your backpack and then you can just lower it right back down so it's out of the way so that's actually a really cool function and uh, i do like that about the latitude um in fact i i kind of want to like make something maybe a little bit similar to that on my diy but 
that's a really cool function. So if you like that, Latitude Outdoors, you can find it on their website. Um, and now I'm gonna show you my DIY. See, that's pretty cool. All right, as promised, my DIY one. And the nice thing about this is anybody can make one um, and it's probably gonna only cost you five to $10. And this is it. You might just think that looks like a bunch of paracord and you're right it is the only thing you're gonna really have to buy is a cam jam this is made by night eyes you can get them at home depot i think i paid like nine bucks for this this is the aluminum one it's way overkill it's rated to 280 pounds uh, but obviously you're not gonna put a pack that weighs that much on there um, you can also buy a plastic version of it that i think is like four or five bucks which honestly should be more than enough i just felt like being extra and getting the aluminum one so the nice thing about this is I'll take that cam jam and I'll clip it right on the back of my saddle, just like this. It's just hanging out right there all the time. So when I get up in the tree, I could just pull that off and it's gonna be like the first thing that I put on the tree so that I can hang up my backpack and I can work hands-free getting everything else set up. Actually, that's a lie. The first thing that I put on the tree is gonna be my camera arm base, which I carry in my dump pouch on the side of my platform as well. So when I get in the tree, I pull that out, I put that on first, then I put this on, I hang my backpack, and then I start unloading all my gear. And the reason for that is because when the backpacks hang in there, because I like to put my gear strap above the uh, camera arm strap, then my backpack's just in the way for me to get that strap around. But if you're not filming your hunts, then you don't really need to worry about that. And this would be the first thing that you put on the tree. So let me show you how this thing works. So first we're gonna unravel it. So I always um, basically just bunch it up and then I stick the, uh, the cam jam through one of the loops and that sort of locks it in place and then I just hang it off. So you undo that and you can just unravel it like so. Um, I probably made this thing way longer than it needs to be, but you know, you can always just cut a piece off if you wanted to. So the way this thing works is real simple. There's, I have four Prusik loops on here. I have some random paracord right here. So I'm gonna show you how I do these. Let's say these are the ends of your eight inch loop. You're gonna simply lay the tag ends facing opposite directions, like so. You're gonna take one tag end, you're gonna do, you're gonna make a loop, you're gonna lay the other line across that loop and wrap the tag in through twice and pull that tight. So that's one knot on one side. Right now, you could still slide the other rope through it. So you're gonna turn it around, do the same thing on the other side. One and two. I hope that was easy to follow super simple knots and then you just pull them towards each other and those are not going anywhere so that's basically how I tied up these loops you could probably do some other fancy splicing thing but you know what I don't care this is simple straight to the point so I made four little loops like that that are about yay long so honestly it's probably more like 16 inches to make the loop and then um, it ends up being an 8 inch loop anyway so I make four of those and I hang those on there. And you can make however many of these you want. Um, and then, like I said, I do a Prusik knot to attach them to the main paracord line, which is probably about six feet long. So here's my loop. It's actually a lot shorter than eight inches. I'd probably say that's like six inches across. But basically what you do is to, this can be really difficult because it's not laying down, but you cross the line and then you're gonna wrap the loop around the main line three times. One, two, and three. Hopefully you guys were able to follow that. And then you're gonna dress it, pull them together. And I'm gonna sit here and fiddle with it because Kind of doing this on the fly. There we go. Beautiful. So there we have a Prusik hitch. Now the point of a Prusik hitch, which is really cool, is you can move it by just pulling on the hitch. But if you put pressure on the loop in any which direction, it actually grips. 
I know it slid right there on the first one, but that's just because it hadn't been tightened down. But once it's been tightened down, you pull it in either direction, it's locked in place. And so that means you can move this to any position you want on the tree, but then if you attach something to it, it's just gonna stay put. So I've got four of those. And basically what I do when I get to my tree, I hop up and uh, I've got a loop tied on the other, one end and I've got this cam jam on the other. And I'm gonna do this up high because I've got so many darn um, gear loops here. But I take that cam jam and I clip it onto that loop. Now the way the cam jam, jam works is real easy. There's like, I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me get real close here. So the way it works is when you pull this rope into the cam jam, there's this little cam right here that jams up. So when you pull it in, it locks in place. So now I can pull on that all I want and it's not gonna go anywhere. And all you gotta do to tighten it up more is just pull it through further and again, it locks up. So once you've done that, once you have that around the tree, all you gotta do is just pull the rope through that cam jam until it's tight, like that. And then I'll usually give it a tug. And just for good measure, if you're like worried, cause some people worry like, oh, you could, oh, sorry, you guys can't see. Let me back that out real quick. There you go. So, like I said, wrap around the tree, pull tight, and I'll give it a couple tugs to really get it tight in there. Now, some people will argue that these cam jams, part of the problem is, well, what if something pulls on this tag end and it pops out? Okay, worst case scenario, it does happen. It'll fall all the way to the bottom, but guess what? I have a stopper knot on the end. So nothing is gonna fall completely down the tree. Um, but also, you have to really tug on that thing to get it out. In fact, once you've hung the weight of your bag and all your gear on there, this cam jam is gonna be so tight on that paracord, it's gonna be really hard to pull that out. I mean, I have to pull pretty darn hard to get that thing to come loose. But let's just say you're like, oh my God, I don't want it to fall, whatever. Here's what I do. I take the Prusik loop that's all the way on the other side of the, uh, the cam jam. I'll move it to like the back side of the tree here and I'll go around with the tag end and I'll put it through that Prusik knot, that Prusik loop. And like I said, because a Prusik will automatically bite down when you put pressure on it, I'll pull that back and then I'll just go through the loop right here and I'll tie a knot. And that basically means it doesn't matter what you do now, like you're gonna have to really mess this situation up to get that to come loose off the other side and then come back around and come loose off of that. If you manage to get your stuff to fall down after you've done that, I'll be impressed. Anyway, from there, it works basically the same way as this latitude. You just take your little night eyes S banners and you can clip them onto your little loops and you can position those loops wherever you want them to be on the tree so you can hang your stuff. And I'll, uh, I'll usually clip my backpack with the carabiner right on that loop that's uh, attached to the cam jam right there. Anyway, I hope that was helpful for you guys. Uh, hopefully you guys have a better idea of what uh, kind of um, gear hanger system you wanna use in your saddle. Um, and if you're feeling a little, little frisky and you wanna try and make your own, by all means, go ahead and copy my idea. In fact, it's not 100% my idea. I kinda of took ideas from different forms and stuff to come up with this paracord one. But by all means, make yourself a paracord one. Nobody's got a patent on that. So uh, while all the saddle companies are battling it out over whose patent covers what, nobody's patented, patented that. So go ahead and make it. It's five to $10, enjoy it. Hopefully everybody has a fantastic season. Uh, I know we're super excited. We're like a week away. Uh, tomorrow's gonna be the last day scouting, checking cameras and all that stuff. And then we're actually gonna be hanging in a tree trying to kill a deer. So thank you guys for watching and uh, make sure that you have subscribed to the channel. Make sure you like this video if you liked it. And if you don't, maybe just like it in any way. And um, that's all I got. That's all I got for you guys.
Peace out. Ugh. Ugh.